Um, I feel like we're going to do a bit of an analysis of the Bivol Ramirez fight. I still don't know who Ramirez is. I've, yeah. He's a, I suppose you say, like, like everyone in that light heavyweight division, they all sort of just, like, fly under the radar. They do, man. Well, I mean, like, even, like, bit, like if Bivol didn't fight and beat Canelo, a lot of people would be sitting around this weekend going, Oh, no fights on this stuff. There's a boxing match this weekend. I don't know who these blokes are. Well, I was going to say, if Bivol didn't fight Canelo, I would just be looking at you and be like, is this going to be a fight? Be like, Jeff? Can do punches? Mm. Um, mm. <laughs> uh, I don't know, mate. I, it's kind of hard to bet against Bivol after he beats Canelo, but it, like, it's also Canelo going up to Bivol's weight and trying to fight. Yeah, and like, Ramirez is bigger. Yeah. I feel like he's going to be probably going to be the bigger man in the ring on the night. Yeah, right. With Bivol. Yeah. Yeah. But because Bivol, what what weight does he fight at? 170 something? 175 light heavyweight is, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 175. He's not that big for 175, yeah, really. No. I think, is it like Zerto Ramirez? He'd be six foot something. Like he's, a, he's a pretty big dude. He's, but, uh, from what I've seen, because we don't get much over here. No. Help us out, promoters. Um, up. Ramirez, it's like that Mexican style. Yeah. So, like, it, it'll be an interesting fight. You'll have Ramirez probably coming forward, looking to land, fucking put Bivol out. Yeah. And, like, as we've seen, Bivol can box. He's like, a boxing machine. Yeah, so like his boxing versus like the sort of come forward style sort of Ramirez. Yeah. It'll, it'll make it very interesting and then can Ramirez knock Bivol out? I feel like if he can't, Bivol wins yeah. on points. Yeah. But like it's one of them fights where I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on it with confidence at all. No. Nah. Like I, I couldn't sit here and go... Take like Bivol to win. Yeah, it'll be like, especially against that like Mexican style, bro. It's just so fucking unpredictable. Yeah, exactly. And like coming out like Bivol, like the only way I can explain Bivol after watching him fight Canelo, he's just like a boxing robot. Like he was just so stuck in his fucking game plan of just like, no, no, like I've got my game plan computed in my head. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. Like, like you can do whatever the fuck you like. I'm just going to stick to my fucking game plan. I'm going to box. Not you're going to stay out there. Yeah. Where I can hit you. Yeah. If you go to come in, I'm going to make you pay. Yeah. And he like, you could see Canelo getting frustrated because that's the only Bivol fight I've watched. So I'm going to probably reference it a bit. But you could see Canelo getting frustrated with like getting out box and trying to kind of goad him in to be like, oh, we'll come over onto the ropes and play my game. And Bill would just yeah. literally shake his head and just stand where he was and be like, no. Yeah, no, you come back over here. Yeah, and Canelo would have to because he's like, you know, the big superstar. He'd have to be like, oh. No. And go back to over to him and be able to go and start jabbing him again. Exactly. Like, it, so, that, it'll be a good fight. Like, I don't know if Bivol can do that because Ramirez is so big. Yeah, he's, but, he's not, like, pushing the little fight, like, little fighter around kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. But, like, that, like, Bivol's composure. Yeah. And that, like, that will, I feel, help him a lot Yeah, like, I, in this fight from, like, getting overwhelmed by, like, the biggest order man, like... I don't know if he'd... I don't know if Ramirez... Had, like, Ramirez wouldn't be, like, as built as Bivol is. Yeah. Because, like, Bivol's pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. But, like, Ramirez, I feel, is, like, definitely taller. Yeah. And will have, like, the reach. Yeah. And, like, that... Yeah, the Mexican kind of, like, weird loopy hooks and... Yeah, and then, like, if Bivol changes the game plan... Yeah. And decides... Well, fuck, I've got to fight on the inside because he's clearly bigger than Canelo. Yeah. Then, like... That might, depending on how, how Bivol fights on the inside, because I haven't paid too... Like, I've watched a few of Bivol's fights, but I haven't paid too much attention. Yeah. So, like, if he can get inside and work Ramirez, he'll... Like, he could probably win that fight because, yeah, like, Ramirez will be, like, smothering himself. Yeah. yeah. Like, he won't be able to put the power onto his shots properly and sit down on him properly if Bivol just takes the fight to him. Yeah. But then, like, he's also in danger because he's in close against a big man who's a bit like who can punch hard. Yeah. So, like, it's catch 22. Yeah. But like you said, it's a fucking, it's, yeah, it's a hard fight to fucking bet on. 
Um, good fight though. I would definitely be sitting down and watching it this weekend. It's gonna be a fun fight. Um, oh fuck. When's Nettie back, Friday? Yes. We'll see. We'll see what we can organize. We might be able to do. Depending on what time and everything it's on, we might be able to do like a companion for like maybe the main co-main or something. Maybe I might be able to try and work something out. But yeah, well, you know, no guarantees. It's a Sunday. Rumi's a family man, so no fucking guarantees whatsoever. But if I can't make it, the boys can always do one. That's it. That's it. 